Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radku Tarot. And after a long break and going through COVID, I'm back with more videos. And in this video, we're going to look into Gemini Sun, Moon, and also uh, Gemini Rising Weekly General Tarot Reading January 10th up until uh, January 16th, 2021. And uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel, guys, uh, liking, subscribing, if you can sharing, uh, commenting is going to uh, greatly, greatly help to the channel, to me as well. And if you do wish a personal reading, you can always go to uh, my website, which link you are going to find into the description down below. And uh, there you're going to see a full list of my services and as well their pricing. So let's first draw the cards for Gemini and then we'll jump right into the reading. Uh, the first card that you do have, Gemini, that is going to be the King of Pentacles. Can you see the card? Yeah, all right. So the King of Pentacles, uh, followed by the second card here, which stands as the Devil. <clears throat> uh, moving next, we do have uh, the Ten of Pentacles. And uh, the last card for you, Gemini, uh, that is going to be the Queen of Cups. So this is uh, the four prime cards, and now there are going to be four catalysts. To uh, the King of Pentacles, uh, the catalyst is going to be uh, the Nine of Cups. So these are a passive friends as an elemental dignity to the Devil card. The catalyst is going to stand as Three of Pentacles those uh, two cards uh, these are a passive supporters <clears throat> to the ten of pentacles the catalyst is going to stand as six of pentacles so we do have another passive supporters and to the queen of cups the catalyst is going to stand as page of pentacles a passive friends okay so that's going to do it with the cards and let's jump straight away into the all right, so you can see your um, your spread on the screen here. And uh, just let me uh, check on if the sound is going on. All right, so usually there are two types of uh, forecast guys. Uh, one of them it is when things are a uh, carved in stones. And the other one it is when the you know, the future is a little bit more loose uh, than usual. And we get to forge our own fate. And here in this week for you, Gemini, that is actually the case where the week is going to be fantastic. OK, how fantastic that is will depend on you and how you are to approach your situations. <clears throat> and by as the topic follows, which uh, topic it's uh, right over here okay so those uh those two cards that elements of dignity the more the the better the week is going to be the more you give to the week so the more you give from yourself and it's we, we can't really call it a giving but more like an, an investment so the more you invest into your hobbies the better the hobbies are going to be <clears throat> and to apologize uh, the more you invest into your love life, the better love life you are going to have. The more you invest into your career, the better career you are going to establish. This is where, uh, th this week it is where whatever you give or whatever investment you make is going to see a reciprocal return, if not even more. Now, according to the topic, you should give investment into what you hold dear, dear to dear, dear to your heart, rather than what is uh, to uh, what is required from whatever enterprises you are into. So, that being said, invest into what is of your liking rather than what is requested or what is demanded so to speak it is because according to this topic that we do have here uh you gemini are to establish a very solid well we can call it even a milestone and accomplishing the what what you dream of for the duration of the week uh, it's going to be the easy part, actually, of the journey. What is going to be more difficult, Gemini, for you, that is you, the, the, the sustenance of it. Well, it's not, we cannot even call it difficult, but more 
consuming, so to speak. And uh, so if I have to give you some guidance here, uh, if you do love or like somebody invest into that connection, okay, if you do enjoy some kind of a hobby of yours, invest into that hobby, or if you do enjoy your work, well, then invest into your work, invest into things you do really, really enjoy. And uh, the week is going to hold a little bit of a challenge for you Gemini and that can be seen into those uh, couple of cards here that we do have which are the devil and the three of pentacles and that particular challenge uh, stands as the influence uh, as the influence you are going to have over those which are to be around you and at some point you may even feel like the king of the hill so to speak where your word is is taken without any um, wrong assumptions, okay? Or uh, your support is to be seeked, your guidance, your advice as well. And uh, that is going to make you the MVP of the week. However, uh, it, it's like... Uh, assuming that you are godlike is going to be the challenge or rather like not assuming that you are a godlike is to be the challenge uh the challenge uh, is to be that you do not misuse the awesome power so to speak that you are going to have throughout the week and that is the power of the creation literally whatever you say goes whatever you want to do it can happen so the question is do you really want that thing to happen and do you really want it i'm i don't know how to truly explain that but you you have to be very mindful of what you strive for because it could have some unwanted consequences further down the road so you, further down the road so you got to be truly mindful of how tenacious you are with your deeds other than that the week looks great and even at the end of this week here uh, that we do have, that is a person that shows up for you, Gemini. Uh, that could be somebody you know, or it could be somebody brand new for you. But that's, I do think that that is somebody you know. I mean, these cards doesn't come up for somebody brand new unless that person had you on their spot for a very, very long time. They made their research about you, all right? They observed you and so on and so forth. Because as these cards comes up that is a person who knows you very very well they have a huge emotional connection towards you and i could say that even they do love you and what is going to be the future with them i cannot say because that comes at the end of the week but at the end of the week we can say that someone steps up for you that truly truly loves you <clears throat> if i have to estimate um just in general, I think that that is a very, very good friend of yours that has a very, very deep emotions uh, towards you. And other than that, for the week, what your, uh, what the guidance and what your aims should be, or rather like, uh, how do you call it? Uh, what What is going to help you out there? It is that if you do turn your look toward everything that makes you comfortable and everything that... Uh, is a cause of a an independence okay so uh, and by turning yourself towards such an aspect of your life like such an enterprises that does not depend on anything else but you that way you are going to feel extremely extremely comfortable and as well you're going to feel like you do have your fate within your own personal hands so uh gemini it's a it's a great week guys it's just uh, be mindful of how tenacious your approach is and other than that <laughs> losing your purse a little bit and under purse i don't mean only money but anything you have to give to what you enjoy and what you love because that is the week where you do truly make a difference and that is a week where it is to be decided and scaled um how beautiful is going to be your future based on how much you are willing to invest into it so with that being said gemini uh that was your weekly uh general tarot reading here guys hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye